Uh, hi, so today we're going to be testing the uh, Pyburn grip. So this is the newest rotary from uh, Lens Digital Pyburn. I've often been a fan of the chuck rotaries over the roller rotaries just because it's easier to do wraps and you can do um, kind of weirder things with it. Um, but this is trying to kind of get the best of both worlds. It's, it's trying to be a rotary that's really good at doing mugs as well as be able to do full wraps and, um, and you know, basically anything. So I'm kind of excited to give this a try. Um, let's, uh, let's try it out. We're running on the Nova 24 here. I, mean, I would normally remove the honeycomb, but um, for the uh, mug that I'm doing right now, it's fairly thin. I, there won't be any need to do that to get the extra height. Um, I'm going to plug the rotary in. One of the things that I love about this rotary um, is the uh, uh, the chuck action here. To widen and like open and close your chuck teeth, it's just a matter of spinning this very easy to spin um, dial here. So I'm going to take a mug that we've been doing some testing on, uh, uh, and then I'll slide it into here and tighten that up. And you see how easily that is to, to tighten. With, with the pie burn, the way that you move this arm back and forth, um, I just slide along the rail here, um, tighten this up, and make sure that this one's set. So now I've got it locked into place really well. I'm going to go into menu here, and then select U move, press enter, and then rotate this. Just make sure it's like rotating properly, it's not skipping or anything like that, it looks to be fine. Rotate it to kind of where I want. I want to do the engrave right under this marking here. Um, okay, I'm good to go. Now I uh, will lower my bed to the, the height that I want it to be at. So um, just put the head over top of it here and I will check my, uh, my height settings. Okay. And then I'll move it over to the other side here. Okay, I need to um, I need to adjust this so that it's the right angle to the bed here. I, ha I don't have a really good way of doing that on this, so I'm just going to align the red dot with this rail here, and just make sure that that's uh, that's aligned properly, which it appears to be. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. All right. I will align that to the center of the mug. That doesn't quite look like that's the center. All right. That looks pretty good. Okay. So I'll set it in the center and set my origin and then frame it okay just go under laser tools and rotary setup we're going to set it up as a chuck rotary because this one has the the chuck jaws um, and then the one thing you've got to remember for the Thunder Laser and, and for the Pyburn Grip is that it's 8,000 steps per rotation. You can change that by adjusting the dip switches, but this is what it comes set at as default. That's in your manual. Um, we're going to use our handy calipers to measure the width of our mug. This one's saying 74.6, which is, uh, just happens to be about just under 3 inches. Um, all right, so we're good to go. We're set up. So we've got our object diameter in there, our steps per rotation. We have this set up to rotary type of chuck. Um, and our circumference is calculated off the object diameter, so you don't need to set that. So we'll click OK. Now I'm going to import the file. So I'm going to do our logo here. Just drag that file into Lightburn. OK, and um, let's see, we'll use this one. We've got a bunch of different colors here. I'm just going to set them all to the same color. I'll set it to pink here. All right, so I've got this set up to 250 millimeters a second, 30% power, and a line interval of 
Sometimes, I know some people when they're engraving mugs, they'll decrease your line interval a little bit to get higher resolution, but I'm just going to set it as the default for this. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, I'm going to turn my air off. I feel like that's not necessary. Um, I'm going to set my start from user origin and my job origin right side middle. Okay, and then I will send the job. Okay, so we should be good to do our engrave now. Ready to go? Yep. Okay, fire lasers. All right, so removing it as simple as just loosening this off, loosening that off, pulling it out, and there we go. Now we'll go clean it up and see how it looks. All right, to clean this off, I'm using this uh, heavy duty degreaser, the Zep. I find that works fairly well. And other people have probably tricks that are more advanced than this, um, but let's see how it turns out. There we go. I would say that looks pretty good.